Hey everybody, <laughs> we are finally back. I know we've missed a few weeks again. Been uh, on a hiatus. <laughs> yeah, again, we just had a lot of stuff going on, uh, trying to figure out some things. We kind of wanted to uh, wrap up and kind of let everybody kind of know where we're going with the Barnuminium build. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been getting tons of questions lately and we appreciate everybody, you know, your concern and, and reaching out to us has just, I mean, it's been great. We really do appreciate all of you guys. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, comments and stuff where people, you know, uh, giving their best wishes and then, you know, a lot of questions because a lot of people are still wanting to build barn dos. For sure. So we're going to try to summarize everything, where we're at, where we've been the last few months, uh, trying to sort through everything and just try to, try to give everybody a good update so everybody mm -hmm. kind of knows what we're going to do in the future there. Well, and we will preface it with the fact that, I mean, we, we live our lives by um, kind of a, a motto, I guess. We, we work really, really hard. If you've watched our channel, you see that we are not afraid of hard work, and, and we dream big, and we believe in going after those dreams. But we also believe and tell everybody in our family, in our life, our, our friends, our clients, that if you keep trying for something and it just doesn't seem to be working out, if it seems like everything you try, you, you keep getting knocked down, maybe that's not the avenue that you're meant to be taking. Maybe you need to reassess and, and come up with a different plan. And uh, yeah. so that's kind of where we're at at the moment. Yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes the doors just ain't meant to be open, you know. Sometimes right. when it slams in your face enough, you got to say, okay, I take it's, the hint. It's not the right time. <laughs> it's yeah. time It's time to go find yeah. another door. Right. So that's kind of where we're at. So, so. You know, if anybody's been tuning into our Barndo videos, you know we was planning on building a Barndo and LJ. Mm -hmm. You know we got started on that process. So, you know we had the grading done, we had the septic in, the well, uh, power, all that kind of good stuff. The builder came out, started putting posts in the ground, and then disappeared on us. Stole mm -hmm. all of our money. Well, not all of our money, but a lot of our money. Right. Uh, we spent quite a few months. <laughs> months yes <laughs> uh chasing him down we did you know we if you saw in the other videos we did get him put in jail yes uh obviously he did bond out uh he's still awaiting trial on those charges uh we didn't get charges uh L J police didn't believe in uh issuing that, a warrant and yeah, uh, that was very disappointing uh a lot of J police wrote it up as a civil case and told us we would just have to sue him and of course the guy's got nothing he, he owns right. nothing Nothing's in his name. What little bit he did have when he was trying to escape got confiscated by the police. Right. Uh, most of that stuff was auctioned off, so he got out of jail with nothing basically with clothes on his back. Which... Well, but for us to sue him would just be extra money we would have to spend on legal fees yeah. that would amount to nothing. Well, all it would do is make lawyers rich, and we would be out more money, and we just don't see the point in that. Right. So anyways, um, mm -hmm. that being said, uh, we did, you know, we had the, the opportunity came up, we, we, we thought we was going to get to buy another uh, 16 acres that adjoined the property into the back. Mm -hmm. um, after trying to go down that route, that fell through. Mm -hmm. And so it was at that point we decided, you know, we got to take... Just take a few steps back. We, we, yeah, we, we, just, we just hit the pause button and said, yeah. you know, we, we seriously got to consider, is this worth pursuing anymore? And, well, and, and we still love our barn dominium. We still plan to build our barn dominium. But for right now, there's a pin in it. Yeah. You know, we're just going to put a pause button on it for just a little while. Yeah. So kind of yeah. where we're at is, is yeah, we're just going to, you know, like I say, that every, every avenue we've tried to go mm -hmm. down through, we even had another builder come out, found out he had been in some trouble, mm -hmm. uh, and well, he and never even came back with a, with a quote after he said he would anyways. And, and even so. after all of that, just take into account the fact that during all this process, building prices have more than doubled. Yes. And, and that's and a so big factor too. There are a lot of hurdles that, that we have hit um, in this process and, and so we just finally said okay we give. We it's, give. This, this is not the time for us to be building our barn dominium. We're just going to stay in our house and, and, and let things happen as they need to happen. Well and again yeah. We don't give up, guys, and we, and we don't want everyone to think that we're giving up. We're oh, not gosh, giving no. up. No, no, no. We're changing lanes and going a different direction. Uh, you yeah. know, it's one thing we love about our our, our YouTube title, our, our, our name, is, is Our Roundabout Life. Mm -hmm. The beautiful thing about that is there's different spokes. Yes. You know, there's not one you have to get off on, and so this one, the exit seems to be closed. <laughs> but it's so, not closed. So it's... we're going on the roundabout and going to another yep. to another one. Right now, it's just on a little detour. And uh, <laughs> so, again, you know, we're not giving up on this dream. Right. 
but right now there's we just feel like there's other opportunities that would be easier to go down right now well and please don't take that as us being disheartened or, or discouraged we're not we're excited about the things that we're doing um again it, it just seemed like the right thing to do to to pause this for a little while yep and so with that being said you know we're gonna we're gonna kind of end the barndo series here mm -hmm. If and when the time comes up again that we start to do the barn dough build, you guys will be the first to know. <laughs> yes, and, and what we'll do is we'll we'll start a new uh, a, a new a new uh, season a, a new season dread. Or, yeah. right, yeah. whatever we need to do on that at that time, and we'll start it fresh from new because again we'd be starting over from scratch anyways exactly. because what we did have done up there was bulldoze down. Yeah, and so that's kind of where we're at. We just kind of want to bring everybody up to date yeah. uh, because again we have a lot of people reaching out to us wondering what's going on. Well, a lot of people have asked us how our progress has been, where we're at, and you know when they get to see the final barn dominium. And as of right now, that's not going to happen anytime in the immediate future. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in saying all this about the barn though, we have learned a lot. Yes. We've and we terms. have tried, we have actually personally one on one talked to a lot of people that's going through different challenges. We've talked to people that's been ripped off by different builders and how to go about trying to chase them down like we did. Yes. We've given you know and we're willing to have we're willing and happy to help anybody we can in any way. So again, Definitely. if there's anything we can do for you guys, always reach out to us. We try to we try to read we always read all the comments and we try to respond Reply. to all of them yeah. um if we can you know sometimes it's a response you know sometimes it's a comment that there really is no response <laughs> but you know but we, we do try to reach out to everybody yes but in saying that i, I just kind of want to go over and reiterate some things that we have figured out in this area and one and that's another reason why we're trying to put things on kind of put things on hold right now in this area there is more scam artists yes. than there's legitimate builders and for barn dominiums and that's very sad now, because not, it, it makes the legitimate builders have a really hard time of it well and i'm not yeah. saying regular home builders that's a different that's ball a game. different ball game yeah. but in this area we're again we're in north georgia we hear we've heard so many stories we have seen so many builders that are scam artists it's mm -hmm. just not worth the risk right now now if you're out right. in texas these things are huge in Texas, and there is some wonderful builders out Very there. Very reputable builders. We've seen there. them. They're on YouTube. If you research them, you'll find them. There's Texas Best. There's there's several other ones out there that you mm -hmm. need to go check out. If you're in that area, totally different ball game. Yes. I would feel 100% confident moving forward, trying to find a builder in that area. But out here, they know this thing is a, is a, is a, is, a, is a kind of a craze right now. A lot mm -hmm. of people are wanting the barn dominium. A lot of people are wanting the metal exterior for less maintenance. Yes. And people are coming out of the woodwork just to rip people off. Well, there's a lot of scam artists out there who are doing like our builder did and just take your money and leave. But there's also a lot of builders out there who are just trying to get on the bandwagon and make as much money as they can. And, and they, they really are not do. knowledgeable. Yeah. And so there's a lot of barn does that are being built in our area that are having tons of problems. Tons of problems. They, yes. they, they end up getting them built. They have, they're having leaks. They're having tons of Air issues. Air circulation issues. Um, mold uh, issues. Uh, flooring issues. Concrete problems. I mean, the list just goes on and on. It's, yeah. it's very scary out there right now. And so that that's my advice. Anybody want to do a barn dough, research your area. Yes. If you're in an area where a lot of these have been built and you can go talk to the owners, see their issues, or if they have any issues, again, right. if it's done right, you shouldn't have any issues, but very, very minor. I mean, there's always little things when you use construction, but you know yes. what I'm talking about, anything major. But if you're not, be very careful. Yes. And and for that reason, if we build in this area, if we decide to go forward with a barn dough later in this area, we probably will not build a true barn dough like mm -hmm. we was planning on, where it was going to be, you know, post frame construction right. and all that. If we go through with it here, we will probably build it like a traditional build, a, a traditional stick built home, mm -hmm. and we will just make it look like a barn dough, just simply mm -hmm. because. People here don't know what they're doing yeah. in this type of building. And I hate to say that, that may change by the time we get there and decide yes. to build. And if it, if it is, we'll, you know, we'll address that then. Well, and that brings in another piece of advice that we did mention in one of our other videos on ways to keep yourself from getting scammed is when, when we were doing our barn dough, we went to see clients of our builder, but they were in the process yes. of building. We didn't go see any finished Barn yeah. dominiums. We didn't go see any finished products because we really only cared about the structure. We wanted to know what the bones of the building looked like. In hindsight, we should have gone to see some finished product, 
because then we would have found out that our builder didn't have any finished product yes. because he scammed all of his he, clients. Even though on his website and on his mm -hmm. Facebook and everything, he was showing finished products. They were not his. He had stole all that information from right. other builders. Right. And so, like she said, that that's a big piece of advice. Go if, see. If your builder yes. ain't got at least 10 or more finished that you can go talk to these people, run. Well, and preferably finished products that have been finished for at least six months to a year. Yes. So you can see if the builder had 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 any problems with that building if the owners are happy yeah mm -hmm. and so you know again that's our last bit of advice mm -hmm. and, and that's kind of what we're looking at again you know if we go to build a barn though anytime in the near future here we'll just be doing a traditional stick build and uh, you know we have the option of we could still put the metal siding on it if we wanted to there's all different types of siding that looks the same as that mm -hmm. that we could do so again that's all down the road but right now what we focused at is, is the way we're looking at things, and this is going to show our age, but we're about 10 <laughs> years away from retiring. Mm -hmm. We was building this to be our forever our, home. Our forever retirement home. <laughs> yeah, I hate calling it retirement home, but, but, but again, our forever home is what I like right. to call it. And so, you know, 10 years, that's still a lot of time. So mm -hmm. we've got plenty of time. So in that time right now, you know, we're looking at maybe buying some Airbnb investments. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking maybe up in the Gatlinburg area. We're also looking down in the Orlando area. Orlando mm -hmm. is exploding right now with yes. oper with job opportunities, jobs coming in, mm -hmm. uh, just just the growth. I mean, they are building like crazy down there, and so we feel like that might be a good opportunity for us to you know maybe park some of our money for a while, buy an mm -hmm. investment property down there. And, in and other words, we're keeping all of our options open at the moment. <laughs> yes, but that's kind of where we're going right now. Um, I, I think, our, you know, probably here within the next few months, uh, we may start some videos on, on researching and maybe actually going and looking at some of these properties. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we're looking for short-term Airbnb type deals, uh, whether it be through a management company, may not be necessarily be Airbnb, but you know, mm -hmm. short term rentals, you know, where people come in for a week, maybe two weeks or a weekend or whatever like that. Well and, and honestly we are at a point in our lives where we're hoping we can maybe use some of those properties as a second home. Yes. Um, you know, with us working remotely and and technology the way it is, why couldn't we live a few months of the year in another state <laughs> or at least go down on long weekends and you know holidays right. and stuff like that and then use the rental income from it to basically make it pay for itself mm -hmm. and so that's kind of where we're at right now um, you know we don't have anything lined up immediately we're just kind of researching doing some research looking at different areas of where we might want to do something like that at mm -hmm. Uh, obviously, uh, now that it's warming up, believe it or not, it's warm out here. We're out here short sleeves today, but it was snowing here it yesterday. It snowed yesterday morning, and, and now we're Spring break, and, and it was sandals. snowing. Yeah. yeah. And so, but anyways, uh, that's what, kind of what, you know, we're going with that. But in the next near future, you know, obviously we got our shows, our craft shows that we're going to be going mm -hmm. to. Uh, we've got some RV mm -hmm. stuff that we've got planned yes. uh, coming up in May. And so we'll definitely bring that to you in the video because that's going to be sure. a Grand Design Rally. We're yep. super excited about that. It is the Grand Design Tennessee Rally. It's being held up in Pigeon Forge. Yeah, which is one of our favorite mm -hmm. places. Again, that's, that's another place we're looking at maybe doing, a, maybe buying a cabin or something. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it, it ought to be fun. Yeah, we're and, excited. And so we're <laughs> going to try to get back to doing we, doing our videos back on every Sunday. I know we've said that, but we're really trying, guys. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, it's been, it's been it's hard. It's been a rough year. Yeah. yeah. It's been a rough yeah. year. Uh, you know, obviously if you saw some of our earlier videos this year, you saw mm -hmm. that she broke her ankle. Uh, she ended up having to have 10 screws and two plates in there. One and so plate. One really, one big, one, one one plate, big plate ten and screws. 10 screws. Yeah. And I'm still in physical therapy for that at this point and we're three months out. And so, yeah, that that's really, you know, especially the first eight weeks of that, she couldn't even put any pressure on her foot. Mm -hmm. And so that really limited on where we could go, what we could do. And uh, so that kind of set us behind on our videos <laughs> a little bit. Just a bit. And, uh, but we're, we're excited. We're, we're doing some yard work here at, the, at, at our main house. We're, mm -hmm. we're getting some pine straw put down, getting our flowers spring flowers put out. And so we got all that done. And we're, we're excited to finally start moving and, and get yes. back to our YouTube series. We, we miss you guys. We, we love even though we've missed a lot of videos, we love that we've been getting so many comments yes. and, and communication from you guys out there. Oh, and we love the community, guys. I mean, it, we love talking to y'all. We love meeting up with you in public. We, I mean, it, it's just, it, it warms our heart. It makes us so happy to build this community. Yeah. 
And so, we just, well, like I say, we wanted to get, make sure we, we kind of put a bow on the Barnuminium thing mm -hmm. just so that anybody watching would know kind of what happened and so that we didn't right. just, just didn't fall off the face of the earth and start doing mm -hmm. other videos. We, right. we wanted to kind of tie it up and, and, and let everybody know why it's not been completed, why we're not moving forward. Well, we're very transparent. What you see is what you get. The way we are on our video is exactly how we are in our day-to-day -day life. And uh, we just didn't feel like it was right to leave everybody hanging. Right. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, everything ain't always perfect. You know, well, a lot of times you watch people on Facebook and you think, mm -hmm. oh, they live the perfect life. There is no such thing. There is no such thing. <laughs> and, and, I, and we told you when we first started our YouTube videos that, you know, we was going to be honest with you. We was going to be, you know, we was going to show you the good, but we want to show you the bad. Mm -hmm. This was a bad experience. It was a very bad experience. Uh, and it's been, you know, it's, it was devastating. You know, there, there for a little while I did get kind of down in the dumps and because I felt like our dream was taken away from us. Right. Um, but, you know, again, like we said, you know, if one door slams slam shut on you, look for another one. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's not just one road out there. There's multiples, there's multiple different directions that you can take in your life. I'm a huge proponent of looking for the silver lining. And uh, sometimes that gets hard to do, but, but through all of this, you know, we lost a lot of money. There's been a lot of hard feelings, but at the same time, we've helped a lot of people to not lose their money. We've helped a lot of people stand up and, and speak for themselves so that they didn't get taken advantage of. And we've made some great friends. Yeah. I mean, well, it, it, it really has been and, and, a blessing. <laughs> and just to be transparent, it, even though it's been almost a year since this really started going downhill when he mm -hmm. took off for their money. Mm -hmm. We still know where he's at. Mm -hmm. We still know what he's doing. Yes. And we do know that he's back into doing the same scam again. Yes. Uh, we have people reach out to us almost on a weekly basis and say, we've seen him. We know where he is. We know what he's doing. I was behind him in the drive-thru at, yeah. at Burger King or, yeah. <laughs> you know. And so, you know, we have mm -hmm. turned that information over to authorities. Yes. Uh, we, we, we will continue doing everything we can to hopefully put him away for a very long time for mm -hmm. what he's done and what he's still trying to do. Yes. Uh, we're hoping we're, we're shutting him down. But uh, at the same time, it's not ruling our life. We're still no. out there having fun, living our life, and, and following our dreams. Yeah, there comes to a point where you, you've got to make the decision not to let it overrun your life. Because, you know, it would be very mm -hmm. easy for that to happen. Yes. Uh, and you just can't, you can't go down that road. You know, you can't go down that rabbit hole. And so, even though we do still keep get information and, you know, people contact us, letting us know stuff, we try to take it with a grain of salt. Because sometimes mm -hmm. it ain't always true. And so you got to weed through what's what's fact, what's fiction, you know, and deal with it as you can. But that's like she said. The main thing is we don't let it run yes. run our lives well, or I, ruin our lives. I've always told our kids as they were growing up. I said, "He who angers you controls you." I fully believe that. And so these scam artists who have taken things from us. If we allow them to control our lives and bring us down, that's just giving them more power, and I refuse to do that. Yeah, and mm -hmm. and the bottom line comes down to there, there's only so much we can do legally, right. and we're not going to do anything illegal. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to stalk somebody or anything like that. Right. And so as we get information, if we can prove that it's true, we pass it on to authorities, let them do with it what they can. If they yeah. can't, that's fine. At least we've done what we can. Yes. And uh, we try to warn people around that may be involved, if we can, if we have that information. Mm -hmm. And then we go about our day. Yes. And so that's where we're at. You know, mm -hmm. like I say, we're, we're going to we're going pause on the barn dough. Mm -hmm. uh, we got plenty of time, and we're going to go down some other avenues and try to maybe have some fun down in Florida. Maybe have some fun up in the mountains. And we're going to take all you guys along with us. That's right. <laughs> and so. Mm -hmm. I hope you stay tuned. Uh, like I say, I know I, I hate we've been missing so much lately. I know this is kind of a boring video, just us sitting here talking, but we really felt like we, we owed it to you guys to kind of let you know what mm -hmm. our plans was and, and, and tie up the barn dough. So, last, last barn dough video <laughs> in the series. For a while. Yeah. And uh, whatever we get into next, we'll go from there. Yep. And if there's anything you guys would like to see us talk about, let us know. Shoot us a comment or send us a message. We'd love to hear from you. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we love bringing you what you want to see. Mm -hmm. uh, we always try to do that. We, we try to, it's, it's funny, when we first started out, you know, 
I didn't want to put us on, on, on the video. <laughs> you know, I was always filming what we were seeing mm -hmm. rather than us. And we got so many people saying, hey, we want to see you guys. We want to get to know you guys. Mm -hmm. And so that changed the way we did our videos. It really did. And so, you know, if there is, if you've got ideas, you know, if you there's something you want to see, especially around in our area, we, yes. we love going to Florida. We're here in Georgia. We love going, or just right up the road, from, right down the road from Tennessee. And mm -hmm. so there's a lot of places we go travel to. So if there's something in that area and you're across the country and can't see it, and, Let us and know. you want to know, we'll go send you a video of it. Absolutely. <laughs> And so that's some of the things we plan on doing this summer. Mm -hmm. We hope to maybe go to some different resorts, mm -hmm. maybe some different hotels. You know, we've done Biltmore before. You know, we love all the theme parks in Orlando. Uh, there's there's lots of different places. We're going to maybe start doing some walkthrough videos for yes. you guys. So if there's something you want to know and want to see, let us know. You know, we have a lot of tips. We've been to Florida enough now. We've got a lot mm -hmm. of tips. You know, we always offer advice and tips to our friends and family going to certain places we know right. a lot of the restaurants we know you know some of the best restaurants some mm -hmm. you know how you far in advance you need to make reservations and stuff mm -hmm. and so that's what we plan on doing especially through the summer well and we love places as well like we love savannah georgia we love st augustine yes. florida um and those are places we've loved for years and so we kind of like to go and take you guys there and just show yeah. you show you what we see when we go and we've learned some tips and tricks we've been there a few times over the years mm -hmm. and so we hope to share some of those with you too so if there's a city or an attraction somewhere in our area that you want us to check out just let us know we'd Absolutely. love to book it and so please if you hadn't already subscribe uh, we've been very fortunate, even though we've had our little hiatus here, our subscription mm -hmm. numbers keep going up, but we do need your help with that. Uh, that does help us, you know, reach more people, reach more people yeah. and, you know, and, and, and we love sharing stuff with everybody. So, yeah. uh, tell your friends and, uh, you might even get to see, come on, you might <laughs> even get to see old Lammy here in some more videos. <laughs> we took him and had him groomed yesterday, so he's all looking beautified. Friday. Friday. I'm sorry. It is. Yeah. It is Sunday. Today. Time flies, man. Yep. I'm telling you. Mm. But anyways, uh, please tune in, subscribe. That way you don't ever miss anything we got going on, guys. Yep. Y'all have a great week. We'll see you soon. See ya. Bye. Jump. <laughs>